So it's taken until the 9th of January for Wolves to really capture the attention of the world's press with a transfer offer, a reportedly £34.7 million bid for Andre Silva of AC Milan has gone in today. It's been rejected by AC Milan at the moment, but Wolves are expected to go back again for a second bid. Now, can you believe that we're living in a time where Wolves are able to put £35 million on a table for a player and then be prepared to go back again. This is really showing now that Wolves are preparing to be a Premier League team and not to just be a Premier League team, but to push on and to try and be one of the top teams in England in the next couple of years. Obviously, it hasn't been accepted yet, but the sort of ambition that's been shown by Fosun is incredible. To go and try and get a player at that sort of level is fantastic. So Andre Silva hasn't been in the best of form this season. He hasn't scored for Milan in the league, but he has scored eight goals in the Europa League, which is quite impressive. Uh, he has got a couple of things in common with the rest of our squad, is that he came through the ranks at Porto and scored 17 goals in two seasons between 2015 and 17. He's been in the Portuguese first team as well, scoring 11 first team games for Portugal. Uh, so he does look as if there's some potential there. He's only 22 as well. There have been a few links with him going to China and at the age of 22 I think and particularly in a World Cup year that might be something that works in our favour rather than him going to China. Uh, so hopefully this is a deal that can get put through. I don't know a lot about him but he is a player that I've actually heard of whereas when we signed Ruben Neves and Jota I hadn't heard of them at all. But I have heard of Andre Silva through watching a little bit of uh, Italian football last year and through playing FIFA. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm just excited about the, le the amount of money that we're able to throw about now. And I've been very critical in the past of modern football. But when it happens to your club and your club has got that mon money to spend, it's quite exciting really. Because now the thought of being promoted and being able to compete is very very real. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos as well which I'll leave somewhere on this screen and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.